My name is Dr. Amal Starling from Mayo Clinic in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm here today to talk about a study that we've recently published in Clinical Pediatrics where we use the King DVIC test and the King DVIC remediation software um, to enhance reading fluency in our youth. There are a lot of studies that show that actually 34% of third graders are not proficient in reading. And actually that if you're not proficient in reading by third or fourth grade, there's a four times higher likelihood of dropping out during high school. So reading is huge. So how do we teach reading? Well, it involves a number of higher cortical functions, but it also involves the physical act of reading the physical act of moving your eyes on a page from left to right, which is not something that we're teaching kids at this point. So the King DVIC remediation software is a software that presents numerical data from left to right in a sequential manner and then goes back to left to right and again presents it. And this is a way that we can improve rapid eye movements or saccadic eye movements. And that's something that's very important in reading, saccadic eye movements and attention. So there were some pilot studies that were done that showed that if we improve the rapid eye movements or the physical act of reading, that we can improve reading fluency. So based on that, a study was developed where we used kindergartners, first graders, second graders, and third graders. We did standardized reading fluency tests and then they underwent a remediation with the King DVIC test using the King DVIC remediation software. The testing was six weeks where three times a week for 20 minutes the kids would sit in front of a computer and they would read these numbers out loud and as they completed them without errors the speed increased. So they were practicing their rapid eye movements or their saccadic eye movements. After the testing or after the, um, the treatment protocol was completed, they then retested them using the same standardized reading fluency tests and they found that there was a huge improvement. In fact, they actually did the repeat fluency test in one year and found that it was sustained even beyond a year. What they also found is that in this group where they did the kindergartners through third graders, had a greater improvement um, than when they did prior studies using fourth graders and sixth graders. So what that might mean is there might be a critical learning period during that kindergarten to third grade time where we can get our biggest bang for our buck, kind of, um, so to speak. Um, where if we can teach the physical act of reading that we can actually make a huge improvement in reading fluency and make a huge impact on, you know, the youth and education.